what's next when we go person to person. Welcome back to CBS News Mornings. The time now is 730 and here's a look at some of today's top stories. We are following the historic appointment of New York City's first Latino police commissioner. 55 year old Edward Caban was sworn in yesterday in the Bronx. He will now oversee about 36,000 officers and 19,000 civilian employees. Command is expected to focus on tackling crime and addressing the department's staffing shortage. The Bronx native is of Puerto Rican heritage and he joined the NYPD more than 30 years ago as a patrol officer. U.S. and South Korean officials held high stakes talks earlier today about North Korea's growing nuclear threat. They are part of a new consulting group created by President Biden and his South Korean counterpart. North Korea has launched about 100 missile tests since last year. Last week, Pyongyang tested an intercontinental ballistic missile that could hit U.S. mainland. Well, the Senate is gearing up for a major showdown today. Lawmakers are expected to begin debating a massive defense spending bill. The Republican-controlled House has passed its version of the measure last week, but only four Democrats supported it after Republicans added amendments that would restrict abortion rights and transgender care. So far, senators have offered more than 800 of their own amendments. And now to an update on the